Hitachi Province, Japan, 1803. Local fishermen on the Hara Yadori shore spot an unusual craft drifting in the distance. When the vessel washes ashore, they are astonished by what they witness. This craft was likened to the shape of a Japanese incense burner. It is almost literally a flying disc, a flying saucer. On the outside of this craft were multiple small metal plates are uh, not too dissimilar to heat resistant tiles that you'd find, say, on a space shuttle. A hatch opened and a young woman came out of the craft dressed in clothes that had never been seen before and speaking a language that nobody understood in the slightest. When they looked inside the craft, they could see hieroglyphs and strange writing all inside of the craft. The story of the strange Tsurobune craft appears in three different Japanese texts. Even today, modern historians uh, struggle to understand what this means. Nobody can really decipher this. Japanese today are very familiar with this story. And to them, this is a curious story of one of the gods of their ancestry who had somehow arrived there on the island in this mysterious craft and then departed. Could the Utsurobune incident have marked the return of extraterrestrial beings that were present in Japan in the distant past. Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and claim further evidence can be found by examining a strange monolithic stone that many believe was carved to resemble the very craft that have been visiting Japan for thousands of years. Asuka Park, Japan, April 2017. Does that say rock ship? That's the rock ship. Oh, all right. Giorgio Tsoukalos and ancient astronaut theorist Takaharu Mikami set out to examine Masuda no Iwafune, an 800-ton rock structure that was carved from a single piece of granite and resembles no other architecture in Japan. Hey, check out this, this square grid on the sides. I mean, this is something that I've seen before in India, in Mahabalipuram. And they had something very similar on the side of some of their rocks as well. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the top. Yeah, Amazing. Oh, man. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that is... I mean, I've never seen anything like it. While some researchers believe the Masuda no Iwafuni megalith is a tomb, others claim it is meant to depict the skyboats that are described in ancient Japanese stories. So the idea is that this was the entrance to a Buddhist temple. What do they mean by that? Inside, I mean, where? It would actually predate Buddhism in Japan, so it wouldn't have anything to do with Buddhist temples. Right. So what is the actual translation of Masuda no Iwafune? Masuda is the name of a region, and Iwafune literally means stone ship or a rock ship. OK. Yes, it's naturally that Iwafune, or the rock ship, would have come down from the heavens as a vehicle for the gods to descend upon Earth. So I guess with the combination of the mythologies of celestial beings, this could be some type of representation of one of those flying vehicles that our ancestors perhaps witnessed. <laughs> 